And yes, I'm wearing a white shirt. <laughs> Good evening. Let's see, we're in unit three, unit three, Brandon. Good evening, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? Okay, how are you guys tonight? Um, it's Thursday, October 21st, and the Bitcoin is on $66,000 per Bitcoin. It's down. I lost money. You lost money? Really? Yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> if that's good. It will go up. It will go up, you see. That's good. But we don't have to lose the hope. <laughs> had to have. You don't have to? We don't have to lose the, the hope. Is it the hope? Hmm, okay. You cannot lose hope. You, you, we cannot lose hope. We cannot lose hope. Totally, I agree with you. Today's topic is going to be very fun, a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm ready to start the class. Are you? <clears throat> are you ready? How many are we? We are eight. Amazing. Let me just text the others. Let me do a calculation right now. You know, there is a a promotion right now in my job, Alexander, William, is Jocelyn here? Yeah, Jocelyn. Um, let's see. 6.66 times 25%. That's plus 6.66, 833, 8.33. Okay. Hey, teacher. Hey, what's up? What's up? What do you think about back office for WFM? Back, back Double up. FM? WFM? Yeah. Workforce yeah. management. Yeah. yeah. That's a good job. There's a promotion in my job right now. They're paying 833 for OT, right? That's their normal payment, 833. 
And for every two hours, you get $5 extra. Oh, okay. I'm I am applying for that position. <laughs> really? For WFM support? Yeah. That's good. You will gain experience. Yeah. Workforce management. Yeah. That's really good. Improve your English faster. Yeah. Faster. That way, that way you can go into the interviews and, and selecting people. Okay. But at this point, supporting WFM, you will be calculating the ratio of people needed by the company. Yeah. B based on the broadcast, there's a lot of things that you need to study. Study the broadcast, ask questions about the broadcast, um, the forecast, I'm sorry, the forecast. Yeah, forecast. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's really interesting. Okay, guys, we are 16 so far. Let me do something crazy right now. Eleven PM to five AM. Okay. Let me do the attendance before we move on to start the class. Today we're changing the topic. We're starting um, unit three tonight. Can somebody tell me what we talked about yesterday really quick? What do you remember about yesterday? Remember yesterday? It was a it summarizing. Was a, a resume from the, the summary. The, the before topics. The previous the topics. Previous topics. You got it. Very good. Remember, <laughs> don't stay with your score. I mean, if you got a 65 on the midterm, a low average score, you can always repeat the exam. Okay. Rene Alfonso, you were almost on the 80. Um, Irwin as well, you were almost in the 80. Johnny, 10 more and you hit the 100 on the midterm. Everybody got 100. That's really good. Do it as many times as you want. You can always improve your score. You can finish the whole platform if you want. So, so you can... Um, you know, fulfill any gaps that you you have during the class. Hey, Heidi, welcome back. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> we missed you yesterday. Yes, I got this terrible headache oh. and I couldn't connect, sorry. Okay, now don't worry. Remember, you can only miss three classes, I think. Is that right? Three classes, right, is what you can miss um, in the whole the whole module. Okay, let's do this. Today's our class number 16. 16 and then 10 more classes, you know, starting today and it's over people. So let's do the attendance, okay? Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present. Good evening, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Good. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present teacher. Good. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present teacher. <clears throat> oh, Present. Irwin. Thank you. I was like, Fernando, that's weird, your voice. Okay. Heidi Eugenia Salgado de Rivas. Salguero Present. De Rivas. Sorry, thank you. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Not here yet. Jose Alberto Salas Benitez. Juan Francisco Enriquez Gonzalez. Francisco is not here yet. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Excellent. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Good. Miguel Angel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Okay. Are you good, Miguel? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Good, good. good. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. 
Sandra is not here. Okay. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present teacher. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Okay. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Good. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. You're driving, I know. Present. Be careful. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Hey, René. I always wonder if your car is a Geo Metro or a Toyota Tercel. Something like that. No, uh, my car is a Spectra. Kia Spectra. A Kia Spectra. Mm -hmm. Okay. I always wonder yeah. because of the of the wheel. I'm like is that that Bulgarian yeah. reminds me what? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Be careful. Don't don't be so fast and furious, please. <laughs> okay. You are not Toretto. Remember, okay. you are not Toretto. It's important. No, no <laughs> Okay. No. <laughs> no, nor Brian, okay. nor Brian. Okay. So let's get this down, people. So oh. yesterday we covered everything from units one and two. Today we're going to talk about branding. That's our goal today to cover, uh, sketch the basics of the branding process for a person or a company, a person branding for a person. This topic is very interesting, but before we hit the topic, let's have a small conversation. And starting today, you have an additional homework, okay? You have an additional homework. So from today, everybody, you need to prepare one open question for us to talk during the first minutes of the class, okay? It's just a short conversation. Any grammar tense that we have covered up to um, up until now intermediate three okay we said before the tenses we have started so okay prepare one open question just one open question okay so -da -da -da. okay in order to achieve this goal right now and make the class more participative, I'm going to split you just for five minutes. It's 8.13 at 8.18, we come back. What are you gonna do? Okay, you're going to create one question per group, believe it or not, yes. Okay, your mission right now is to create one open question. Whatever question. Whatever question you want, of course, a professional question, something that everybody can talk about. One open question per group. So how are you going to do this? Talk, talk to your classmates. Hey, what do you think about this topic? Why don't we use the simple present? Why don't we use the present perfect? Okay, why don't we use ta -da -da. Okay, and tomorrow you must bring an open question to the class because tomorrow I will just select one of you, two of you, and that's it. And you have to have an open question tomorrow. Do you have questions? No? Okay, you have five minutes. It's 8.14 and we come back at 8.19. Let's go. Hi guys. Hi, how are you? 
Andres, how are you, Andres? I'm fine. And you? Fine, and you? Fine. Um, fine. What more in the, in the, in the, ah, what more? Only, only two persons there. Uh, and, and Irene, Irene, how are you? I'm excellent today. Ah, perfect. Perfect. <clears throat> and the question, what do you think about the question? Do you have to do a question? For me, I will do it a uh, question about the world, for example, or about the family. Open question using different tense. Uh, in for example, would you prefer to drink coffee or drink at night? But I think that the question will be more. Would you prefer to drink, excuse me, to, to drink coffee or milk at night? Mm -hmm. Let me say something. Remember that it has to be an open question, something yes. that you can use to talk and talk and talk for at least mm -hmm. five minutes non-stop. Yeah. For example, for that, me, uh, yes. what is it about your work in the future? For me. Mm -hmm. well, if you want to have a question uh, so difficult, you can say how will be will do how what are you doing will you be old mm -hmm. what would you do uh, when you will be old if you were old just, what would you do if you were old yes it's so difficult as well <clears throat> for me i have a a question like uh how does affect you the highest price of gasoline? Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. I do it in a... <clears throat> um, for example, how does affect affect to you the pandemic in your life? That's a question too. I think that that is, is an interesting, interesting question because the pandemic have fed the life of the most of people in different in different ways. I, I think that it's a good question. Okay. Um, I agree with you. Yes, in, in my opinion, in my personal life, the pandemic affected to me in negative, neg neg affected to me in a negative way. For example, uh, for the for the work, for my job, I need to to I I have a lot of activities activities to do it every day because uh, I, I work, uh, I have a position in human resources and then I need to, I need to do an, another activities, for example, give, give math every day to the people before they come to work. And another another activities for the pandemic. In talking about the the economic my my economic, I in, I wasting I wasting my, uh, more money in alcohol alcohol health and mask. And, and food, for example, high high prices in food, and in my 
In my opinion, the pandemic affected to me in, neg in, in negative way. Mm -hmm. Yes. In, in my case, uh, the last year affects in uh, economic because I have a, a little business that it doesn't work for like uh, four months. Do you have a your own business? I have a... Uh, Oh my God, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. And what, what kind of products do you sell or, or service do you offer? Uh, in public tra transportation. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, congratulations mm -hmm. for you. It's an interesting and... Teacher, I have a doubt. Yes. When you are talking about hours, uh, you have to say amount of hours or quantity of hours. You can say both. What's the quantity of hours you work per week? What's the amount of hours that you work per, per week? What amount of hours do you work per week? How many hours? Uh, okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> Okay. Irwin, give me a number between one and 27. Let's do this. 26. 26, Rene Alfonso yes. Madrid Escalante. Okay, who was in Rene's team? Who was with Rene? Hi, teacher. <laughs> Don't worry. Who was in your team? Who was in Rene's team? Oh, it was uh, Andres. Andres, Erwin. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, Rene. Keep okay. driving. I, I Keep driving. Be careful. Okay. okay. Andres, uh, what was the question that you came up with? What was the question you came up with? Uh, we was talking about. Uh, we were. We were talking about sorry about the pandemic, and okay. how it affects in our lives. How yeah. did the pandemic, or how has the pan has the pandemic affected your life, like that? Yes, uh, that's that's the question. Pandemic. How has the pandemic? of COVID-19. How has the pandemic of COVID-19 affected your lifestyle? Life in different... In general. In general, yes. Your life in general. Okay, that's today's question. And this is what we're gonna do the first few minutes of the class. So now I'm gonna split you one more time, 10 minutes. Okay, just have a conversation as much as you can. Okay. Um, algunos de ustedes ya hablan super fluido. Les pido que me ayuden con sus compañeros. Tranquilos, o sea, ayúdenles en el sentido de corregir. No se sientan mal por corregir a un compañero. Créanme que sus compañeros les van a agradecer también. O me equivoco. Okay, y si alguien te dice, ahí mira, dijiste, to running, to running is to run. ¿Te sentirías malo o no? 
right? No, it's your co if you, it's your classmate. So let's do this, have a conversation, answer the question. You have 10 minutes starting right now. Let's have a conversation. I'm recreating the groups. Let's go. Hello, someone there. <laughs> hey. So Hello, teacher, guys. we have to talk about the the answer about the pandemic or what? Ah, okay. Hey, O'Connor. Who has the pandemic of COVID affected your life in general? It's a question, sir. That's what we had to talk about yes. the pandemic. Go ahead, make the question to a oh. classmate. Okay. How has the pandemic or the COVID affected your life in general, teacher? Is the question? That's the question, correct. Okay. Google, Google Meet or some um, like a, that kind of uh, platform for uh, communication. And the first days was very hard to manage to give a good communication to um, understand what they need and something like that with, with uh, my team. And I think that was the, the most uh, important changes I have in my life during the pandemic. Okay. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> And you, Wendy, Erwin, Jocelyn, for me, teacher. Oops. Oops. For me, okay, it's uh, for me. Yeah. Oops. Uh, I work in the pandemic. In that moment, uh, in the government, I call it that the government, the Ministerio de Trabajo, Ministerio de Salud. Mm -hmm. And because I sell battery, it is necessary, it was necessary for the cars and the government and the many people that work it in that moment. I saw battery in pandemic, my work in the morning alone. Yes, I work so hard for this day. So hard. And the government needed uh, battery. And uh, the permission that gave me the, the government will was being was being special because only one person can be uh, will be in the in the business and only me only me uh, that three months so difficult so difficult but. I am 
they are happy because many persons at that moment uh, wanted. In Thai, um, but no, no, but didn't, uh, didn't do in this time so complicated in general for the family, I think. Elvin, uh, do you make do you make mask at your work? Yeah, mask. Uh, yeah. All, all the all the all the all the manufacture manufacturing change uh, to mask. Uh, the mask. Uh, the the uh, the U.S. Uh, the government. Uh, there are alliance with the. Uh, with the uh, industrial um, and give, given uh, how to give in, uh, to mass uh, for the for the people in US uh, need use uh, only uh, only uh, use for at home when you stay with, at home but no is when you, the people go out use different masks but it's a uh, level two. I remember this mask. Mask uh, we manufacturing here uh, every every day. Went to to work. I don't. I I don't have uh, to occasion. I didn't have vacation. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. We we didn't stop working. Okay. You cool. You cool. I I didn't know that. Elvin, I thought that was over. Right, and at home, told me, oh, no, uh, it's um, it's quarantine. Uh, so we celebrate celebrate uh, at home, but with sun. Uh, a short detail. So, and and thus, uh, I was at the moment, and no, I was at, I was starting, sorry, I was in a penultimate cycle uh, at the university. So, I, I don't, I don't know, and I, I don't, I don't feel. I didn't feel the a big change because almost the time I I I stay on on the computer. So, but the professors hardly uh, hardly gave a lot of lot of homeworks, and and the class um, uh, and I didn't satisfied. So, because on um, um, quarantine, I did uh, some exercise, yoga, spend time with my family. I, I hardly, um, hardly spent, spent time at home. So, uh, in this case, I, I did. Um, that's it. Okay. 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 Right without you, I miss someone else. I keep telling myself. Let's see, let's see, let's see if you can do this. I think you can do it. I believe in you. Do you believe in yourself? I hope you do. Speak in English. You can do it. So easy, <laughs> so easy. Okie dokie. Let's give it an example. Let's get an example. Alexander, if you want to start, or let me ask a volunteer. I'm gonna try. Sure, okay. So you have one minute on the board. 
One, two, three, same question. How did the whole pandemic thing change your life? One, two, three, action. Well, in my case, actually, I remember that when the pandemic started, I was in a training. I was a trainee, but I lost my job. You know, I was a trainee, you know, but eight months later, I get a, a good job. I got a good job in the same company, in the another account, you know, it's a blessing in disguise, actually, because now, nowadays, I am working from home, and you know what, it's better to, to work in, a, in, in the site, because you have enough time to do your things or your stuff, and actually you have you have not to spend a lot of money and, or time in the traffic jam and you are not exposed, exposed to, to the coronavirus in, outside, you know, and it's difficult, but it's good. Good job, okay. Great job, you made like 20 sentences. Great job, good fluency, good use of vocabulary. You use a lot of vocabulary, congratulations. Thank you, Alexander. You didn't hesitate, no buffer words. Very good. So that's good. You're not overthinking. You are not overthinking and that's good. Okay, you are not overthinking. You know what is that, right? Repensando, and that's good. Okay, in the another account, uh, um, in Another account, in another account. Ah, okay, I started working in another account. Okay. It's better to work in the site. It's better to work on site. That's more used. Yeah, as you can say, in the, in the site of the um, company, but eh, it's better this way. It's better to work on site. Good job. Thank you, Alexander. And you choose someone? Alex. Uh, we can hear you. Okay, another volunteer. Let's go with a volunteer then. Your microphone, Alex. Mm -hmm. I shoot William, actually. William Alexander, okay. Tokayo, ready? Where's William? He's gone. He's gone. Oh, why? Someone else, Alexander, hurry up. Johnny. Johnny. Okay, Johnny, ready? Yes. Okay, Johnny, you have one meeting on the board. Same question. Don't hesitate. Just talk, 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 talk. Don't stop. One, two, three, action. Okay, um, the pandemic has come our lives and shame many things. For example, I remember when I used to meet with friends and co-workers in many, many activities. Now, and that's changed because I had to to meet uh, with a distance and many activities. Now they we can do only by cell phone. And I remember the meet with uh, people is is for me is uh, better because you share emotion that's no transmit by cell phone or use the internet and even. Okay, thank you. Great job. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. The pandemic comes our life and change many things. 
what grammar tense are we talking on? What's the grammar tense we're using? Let me see the grammar tense again. How has the pandemic of COVID-19 affected your life in general? Okay, that's the question. So this is present perfect. Okay, yes, you can answer this question in simple past. Simple past, focus on past verbs, guys. The pandemic came, came to our life and repeat, Johnny, change. And this one also change. is in past. So you should say changed, changed many things. Change. Okay, changed, changed, changed many things. Again, the pandemic came to our lives and this is plural if you're saying our, Okay, the pandemic came to our lives and changed many things. Repeat, Jenny. The pandemic came. The pandemic came. Came. came our life. Okay, again, came, the, the pandemic came to our lives and changed many things. The pandemic came our life and changed many, many things. 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 Okay, check this part of the video and review and repeat, review and repeat. Now I have to meet with a distance many activities. Uh, now I have to meet with people in the distance, maybe in the distance. And by the way, you say distance. Okay, distance. You say distance, uh -uh. distance. Okay, be careful with the stress of the words. Distance. Now I have to meet with people in distance for many activities. Now I have to meet with people in the distance for many activities. Repeat, Johnny, you say better. Better. Better, better. Is that better? better. Okay, that's not okay. transmit by cell phone. Many feelings, okay. Many feelings are not transmitted passive voice. Many feelings are not transmitted by cell phone. What? Okay, double T. Many feelings are not transmitted by cell phone. Okay, think about it. Good job. Bien, eso solo era un ejemplo, okay. señores, de lo que vamos a estar haciendo todos los... Uh, días en los primeros 30 minutos de la clase, es de que si usted quiere participar y practicar más su inglés, conéctese a las 8 en punto. Teacher, ¿se está sacando esto de la manga? No, los primeros 30 minutos de cada clase siempre son para revisar el material de la clase anterior o para soltarles la lengua y calienten un poco para entrar de lleno al siguiente topic. Ahorita ya nos pasamos, pero quiero que quede claro eso, ¿ok? Tenemos que practicar más. Varios de ustedes tienen áreas de oportunidad sencillas que podemos corregir hablando. So, I just wanted to point that out. Let's keep going. In tonight's lesson, we're going to talk about branding. This is unit three, and it starts on page 25 of your student's manual. What's branding? What do you understand by branding? Do you want me to talk or are you going to talk? What's branding? The action to create a brand. The action no. to create a brand. Yeah. What is a brand? The name of a product. The name of a product. The mark. The mark. A mark in English, honey, is just a mark. For example, Ada, I have a mark with from my from my from my beautiful my a characteristic. My, it's a characteristic of the product. Good. Ada, for example, I have a brand in my eyebrow from my brother with a hammer. This is a mark. This is a mark. With a hammer. A hammer. He was hammering nails. Yeah. And I stood on his back. I stood on the back and he was, I was like, and, <laughs> man, 
you know what I saw? I saw the Simpsons. That was crazy. I went to the hospital. I got three stitches, uh, three stitches on my eyebrow. <laughs> that was crazy. That's a mark. I have a mark. Okay. That's a mark in English. In Spanish, marca, yeah. Okay. So a brand characteristic of a product. Good job, Johnny. The name of your product. Okay. What else? What else is a brand? Um, a name of a company? A name of a business, a name of a company. Good. Maybe it's a, an image, logo, or symbol that represents a company. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. That's so deep. An image like the apple. Yes, when you see an apple with a, a bite, a bite <laughs> uh, you you think about <laughs> that's you, Fernando. Nobody else does that. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, we do. It's the same thing if you if you see a penguin, right? We are yes. we are pure. What happens if you see a ping a penguin, Fernando? I think about Linux. <laughs> yeah, Linux. Linux, 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 Linux. Yeah, I can remember. What? I think Madagascar. <laughs> you think you think yes. about Madagascar? Yes. Okay. Is that a brand? Mm, I don't know. What do you say, guys? Is the name of a movie a brand? Yeah. Me? Yes. No, it's yeah. a part of. Mm. Ah, that's so difficult. No, it's not a brand. For me, brand is like a distinctive. Uh -huh. But it makes you different from others. Ooh. Yes. Brands are. Sure. Uh, yep. I found a, a meaning. A definition? A definition, sorry. Yes, Andres, go ahead. A type of product manufactured by, the, by a particular company under a particular name. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a company can have many products. Each product has a brand. Okay. Distinctive design. If you have, did I send you this link? I think I sent you this this uh, presentation already. If not, I'll send it on the, at the end of the, of the class. Uh, okay, if you have checked this presentation, there's a video that talks about this, the introduction to the branding stage of this branding uh, topic. And it talks about how brands were created all the way in the 1800s, I think. But at the beginning, branding was mainly for cows, you know, for, um, how do you say canal in English? I forgot. Man, I just saw that word. Okay, Google, ganado. Um, yeah, for cattle, for cattle. It was used for cattle. Do you remember how they, they used to put a mark? Okay, <laughs> they used to put a mark with a hot piece of iron on cows and, um, okay, and bulls. So it used to represent ownership, ownership. In some cultures, in some cultures still, they still do that with women, with men. They still How mark. How do you call the canal, teacher, sorry? Cattle, C-A-D-L-E. Am I right? Cattle? Yes, teacher, you're okay. right. <laughs> okay, still work. <laughs> this still works, this still works. Okay, so that's the way they used to do it. That's the way it started. It was a, um, an image, a logo, a letter, something that represented um, ownership. You know, I'm the owner of this cow. I'm the owner of this car. I'm the owner of those things. But later, it represented more than that. When people started producing uh, stuff, you know, things and selling them, how do you think that people used to identify products in the market in its origins? Because remember, if we go back in time, when we started trading 
when you started trading and the market started, the whole market in the world, in humanity, we started trading stuff. Everything started by changing, okay? I give you this remote control and you give me a nail clipper. Exchanging products. Money wasn't invented yet. Do you think brands were present during the trending, the exchanging stage of commerce? ¿Me están siguiendo o estamos en la luna? <laughs> ¿Alguien se ha quedado? I, okay. I don't think so. It's clear. It's clear, right? I mean, it makes sense. So, again, yes. market startups, okay? We have the starting stage of the market. People exchange exchange things. Um, Haiti, I give you this cell phone. Okay, you give me your car. Okay, <laughs> we are exchanging no money, no paper. So, do you think branding was present back then? Mm, no, it's a crazy question. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Thing, thing, thing. It's difficult because if you are exchanging, yeah, yeah you have how I to identify. Yes. Maybe maybe the name yes. of the person was the branding in that time. Okay. Do you know the story of money? The cow. <laughs> no. No. Not, not everything started with a cow guy <laughs> no i mean money started with paper it was a piece of paper stating oh my god this is white the background is white mm -hmm. it was a piece of paper stating i fernando ernesto give this paper to the teacher and it is worth one cow, two cows, okay? This is my promise that I am going to pay the teacher two cows. And that Very was- generous. What? Very generous. Gen generals, what do you mean? How do you say oh. generoso? Oh, so generous. I'm sorry. Um, yes. So you're so generous. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but that's the way paper a, money, paper money started. It's a promise in writing. <laughs> exactly, Johnny. It's a promise in writing. Can you imagine how honorable, honorable we were back in the 1800s, the 1700s, maybe? Okay. Yeah. That's amazing. My word. I give you my word in this paper. If not, I'm going to jail. I'm going with the sheriff. If I don't you die, pay. and I die, and I die. Yes, remember back then it, it wasn't the jail. It was just you get hanged. You get hanged. Okay. So then they printed they printed currencies. Okay, the currency era started. Then we had so many coins, right? Bills, okay? Everything changed. And then what? Have you heard the story of this guy who used to be a bodyguard, who used to be a, a, a guard at a Burdel? How do you say Burdel in English? I can't remember. But this guy was a guard in one of these places, okay? A nocturne club. Saloon? No. A salon, okay, a salon back then, yeah. This guy lived in a small town and one day he retired and they gave him some money. He couldn't, this is interesting, he couldn't write. He was illiterate, he was illiterate. He couldn't write, he couldn't read, but he understood one thing, money. So he got retired. He didn't know what he was going to do with his life. So he bought, he bought a, a donkey. He bought a donkey. He bought a hammer, some nails, and a saw. Okay. One day, one of the neighbors saw him working with some wood, 
with the hammer and the neighbor said, hey, can you lend me? Can you lend me your hammer and your nails? I have to put some, some uh, frames, some frames on my wall. Can you lend me your hammer and your nails? It was like, okay, but I'm gonna charge you $1 per day. Neighbor said, okay, I'll pay you a dollar for that hammer and the nails. Next day, he gave back the hammer, the nails and the dollar. Okay. And that's the way he started renting his tools. He started buying more tools. And then the first hardware store, the first hardware store started. This is a story from El Salvador. Does that sound familiar? No? No. So, so. I think it's a story of Freon, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Okay, it's the story of how a hardware, the first hardware store started in El Salvador. It's crazy. Okay, so then he grew up, he grew, he grew, grew. Yeah, he grew. The business grew. So what now? Now let's put a name. Why do you need a name? And this is the interesting fact. This is your question. Why do you need a name on the company or in a product? To be unique. identified. To be identified by who? To identify by the by the customer. The customer. Like customers. Okay. What for? What's the intention? More. Consumers. Yeah. The, maybe that when they when need your product, they're going to think on your brand. Right. When they need your product, they're gonna think on your brand, about your brand. And and that's critical. I mean, a brand nowadays, nowadays a brand is a feeling, is an emotion okay let's play something really quick um let's see if we can do this i want you to say the first thing that comes to your mind when i say the brand okay, okay. shall we okay okay, <laughs> okay. uh facebook Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> really no. <laughs> no really but i Mark have i have Life? No, uh, F, letter social F. Social media. Letter F comes to your mind. Social media, okay. What is social friends. media? Friends. Mm, the F stands for friends, okay. What comes to your mind if I say Apple? Money. iPhones. <laughs> iPhones. Expensive. Expensive. Cell phone. Okay. But batteries. Programming. Bad battery. <laughs> hey, that's a good point. Bad reputation can come with good reputation at the same time, right? They come along. Uh huh. We're going to talk about reputation later. It's very important in branding. Okay, what happens if I tell you Azúcar del Cañal? Or <laughs> Yustel Cañal, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, tic Tac. Candy? Candies? Right, clock? really? Tic Tac? <laughs> ah, a, a, a clock. <laughs> a clock? A You're note. so innocent. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. let's keep going. Let's keep going that route. Johnny Walker. <laughs> Johnny, you're walking. Uh, why? Oh. <laughs> yeah, do, do, you even, do you even get the image right of the guy? Um. <laughs> the guy walking, okay. And you so, heard Johnny walking. Yeah, we're gonna walk. <laughs> Johnny walking. Johnny Walker. Are you walking? Are you Oh, come on. Hi. Okay. <laughs> and so on, right? So many brands that play with our feelings that are into our mind. Someone said, someone said, um, and this is on the video, on this video, on this presentation. Okay. I cannot reproduce it, you know, for copyrights, but. I was amused by something that someone said. Um, you made it 
you've made it something like that. You made it if your brand is used as a verb. You know, you made it if your brand is used by your consumers as a verb. What brand do we use as a verb? What brands? Google. How do you do it? <laughs> Google. Google, right? La Real es Academia Española. Oh, Cantinflar. That's another one. Hey, yeah. let's, let's go. Let's right. Yeah, people. Can people become brands? Yeah. Sure. Other than Cantinflas, do you have another example? Rainsaw. Rainsaw is not a name for a person. <laughs> Rainsaw, <laughs> come here. Rainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god no guys no think about another one Ameri american cars Ford. Nestle. Yeah. Ford. nestle is not a name kellogg's is a last name it's yes last name. that was amazing unilever. story of kellogg's unilever is not a name as well but yes those are very known brands okay before we jump into these questions and we start having a conversation with this, these two questions. Let me do the attendance one more time. It's 9 p.m. Think about what we have talked. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Elvin Alcides Aguizabal Martinez. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present teacher. Good. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Okay. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Here today. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present, teacher. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present, teacher. Thank you. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present. Thank you. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Wonder if he made it home. Okay. Um, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay. So let's go with the first two questions on your page 25. First two questions. Why is it important to create a strong brand for a product? kind of had an idea there do you feel identified with the brand that you represent oh my god this is a powerful question do you feel identified with the brand that you represent you feel ownership for that brand do you feel engaged oh my god engaged i'm not marrying i'm not getting married with my company yes engaged do you feel engaged with your company with your brand Hey, just make these two questions to your classmates, have a conversation. Of course. I, I've always joked that, uh, how do you say in, inventario, inventory? In the inventories? Uh huh. I got, I got my inventory number. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's your fixed asset. You're an asset. Mm -hmm. You're an asset. <laughs> That's good. Exactly. That's a good joke. True. Eventually, after many years, you become an asset and you are one of the most important. We're going to talk about that. Okay. 
Okay, guys, let's have a conversation. Let's go. Okay, let's go, Ivan. Roberto Luis, if you can hear me, let's go. Think about the, the, those questions. Why is it important to create a strong brand for a product? What did you think? To me, the most important is the product because the branding or the brand, the brand identifies the different with the other brand, with the other product similar. This is the first. The second, Branding is the verb that the action that brand in the, in the traduction in marketing. For example, all things that you have at the one brand, all things that you will do it for your brand will be will be plus with the customer. Branding is like a plus customer, plus product for the customer. Yeah? This is okay. the branding, this is the verb. And the brand, you know, in, in the logical, if you have a different with the high performance or the different with the good price and good product, um, it will be the different with the other person. And the personal brand, the personal brand is that the communication that the brand for the customer or for the target. Only that, so like that. Okay. Jenny, what do you think? About the question. Okay, uh, the branding for me, it's a reputation. Uh, I don't know. Your brand, product because uh, uh, it's more important to create a strong brand because the people need the feel. Uh, identify that your their product. And for example, the people need a thing every 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 time in her product. In my case, I feel identified with my brand. I love my company. And I in this moment I feel uh, representative with my company. What about you, William? Um, a brand uh, represents the sum, the sum of people's perception of a company's uh, com Companies, customer service, reputation, uh, advertising, and logo. And so, I think when all of all of these parts of the business are working well together, um, the brand tends to be healthy. That's my opinion. Okay, thanks, Julia. What about you, Roberto? Roberto? The brand need, needs to be known for the customers. At the beginning, they don't know your brand. Mm -hmm. So, as, 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 Time passes by, the brand becomes stronger. Depend on, Depending on the quality of the product, right? Yes, yeah, depend on the, on the quality. If, if service depends on the quality of service that you offer. And, but do you, I agree with you, depend on the time. 
The promotion. The promotion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The four piece. Of piece. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, what do you think, Juan Francisco? Yes, uh, I think it's, it, it is important to create a strong brand because um, the people uh, recognize, recognize and to recognize. Um, it's recognized. Ah, the people that recognize uh, your product only only see your your logo or only hear your your neighbor. Uh, yes, um, just that. It's my, it's my opinion. Let's go with next question. Uh, do you feel identified with the brand that you represent? It is easy. It is important to create a strong brand for a product. <laughs> well, I guess that is important to create a strong brand because it, it calls customers' attention. And uh, remember, that is the brand. It will be your name, your original. And people can identify. And just yeah. because for the industry brand, that must be original, must be nice, funny. I guess it's for that. Okay, I, I, I have a question for you. If you if you had your business, what will you what will you call your brand, for example? Mm, well, it depends what kind of business that you're telling. Mind that I open a restaurant, uh, it would be I don't know, see a restaurant, something that calls Salvadorian people that. It will be nice, but it will. If I open a beauty salon or something like that, I will place my name. For example, Jocelyn Salon or my daughter's name, Camila Salon. Uh, <laughs> it's in the depends of what kind of business I am open. I don't know. And you need to think in that what kind of business you are open a restaurant or in the pants to create the brand, the brand name. Nice. I remember that in the previous job, in the previous model, I had a name for, for business, but I don't remember. It's, it was, was very funny, but I remember. Hmm. Really? Did you create? Yes. Yes, but I don't remember the name. How funny. did you create the name and you didn't remember? I don't remember. Let me see. For example, my 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 company, it's uh, La Galería del Repuesto in Spanish. No, yeah. Yeah. It's no 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 it's it's not good. <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> and, and, and you're helping Luis, what would you call your brand? If you had a, your your own business, mm, I maybe it depends. How, as uh, Jocelyn says, it depends the, the kind of uh, product or business are you going to to start. Um, my my wife has a online. Um, business and he called with the joining the the syllables of our uh, last names for example yeah she she, she named it she named uh, it she named it uh. <laughs> okay executive she named it yes 
What is the name of the business social wife? Romanu. Because oh, my, nice. my 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 last name is Romero and her last name is Numfio. Originally is, nice. Is, yes, in, and the business is about uh, uh, perfumes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Oh, great. Hey, the, the, the second question. Yeah. Do you, 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 do you feel identified identify with the brand you represent? Identify. Identified? Mm -hmm. I start to be comfortable with the new place in my work. Okay. And what do you think about why it's important to create a strong brand for a product? Mm. If you want that that, that product uh, will will be a success, you you have to to be careful with your brand because you have to to put all your effort in a good brand and a strong brand because that that would be your image, your the the, the, the people when. Uh, will see your image. Uh, they they will imagine your your products or your services. That is very important. Yeah, it's like to try to to get to the unconscious of the people, right? Something that the people can remember for many years. Yes, and your advertising will be will be around or your brand. Oh, for see you have an slogan, if you have an our song with your your brand, uh, your brand have to to be uh, uh, impact. attractive. Yes have to cause an impact in, in the customer. Okay, really quick, let's check um, some areas, small areas of improvement, things that you can actually correct really quick. Um, when you want to generalize, you don't use the article, the article. You don't say the people need to fill. If you're generalizing, you don't need the article. So you say people need to fill a and by the way, you say identified, identified. People need to feel identified with your brand. In this moment, I feel identified, identified with my company. In this moment, I feel identified with my company. Uh, another way to say in this moment. At this time. Currently. This time, currently, right now, nowadays. right now, at the moment, nowadays, very good, very good. Uh, for now, for now, I feel identified with my company. So far, hey, so far, I feel identified with my company. I feel engaged, engaged with my company. 
It is important to create a brand because, again, third person. It is important to create a brand because people recognizes, no? Hmm. To create a brand because people recognize your product, we're good. Only, what are we missing here? Okay, only by seeing your logo or only by hearing I'm wrong here. I'm making a mistake. Just Careful, right? Hold on. Seeing. Only by seeing your logo or only by hearing. Okay. Your brand. Now, many of you are doing this. Just that is my opinion. That's all I have to say about that. That's all I ADA I have to say about that. Le voy a dar 100 dólares a quien me diga dónde sale esta frase. And that's all I have to say about that. Ay, he's a movie. Forrest Gump. Yeah, Forrest Gump. Vaya, 200 dólares. Okay, teacher. Aceptamos bueno, transferencia. My account name is. I'll, I'll, I'll put it on a paper. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. So it is important to create a brand because people recognize your product only by seeing your logo, or you can even eat this, or hearing your brand. The, that's all I have to say about that. Okay. Pretty quick, uh, volunteer, answer the questions. Why is it important to create a strong brand for a product? Why is it important to create a strong brand for a product? Someone, volunteer, come on guys. Don't let me down. Come on. We too big. Uh-huh. Why is it important to create a strong brand for a product? Someone, come on. Okay, that's not working. Uh, Fernando, choose someone. Uh, Elvin. Okay, Elvin. Why is it important to create a strong brand for a product? Uh, I, I think... Um... I think uh, it's very important to create a strong brand for the product because uh, the brand sells alone. For example, uh, uh, the customer identify uh, uh, an, uh, a brand, a uh, product specific, no identify the product. For example, Colgate. It's a it's a brand. Uh, there are the, the, the uh, for um, another example is uh, Marusham. Uh, it's a it's a, it's a, a brand. No, it's a no, it is a a specific product. Uh, it, it, in the my the the customer uh, identify the brand for for that is very uh, necessary. Um, uh, the the a create to a strong brand uh, for the product. Excellent. Like it. Good thoughts. Good thoughts. No, it's a specific product. Okay, I heard you saying this before, Elvin. I've escuchado decir esto varias veces. Vamos a darle vuelta a eso. Recuerde, el verbo to be y luego negativa is not a specific product. Uh huh. The product sells okay. by its own. I like to, I me encantó esta frase. Product sells by its own. The product sells by itself. The product sells by its own. In the mind, the customer identifies with the product. Um, how else can we say this? It's, it's, it's correct, but um, 
generalizing people feel identified with the product. Okay. With the brand, with the product. Okay. Good job. Okay. Second question, Elvin. Great job. Thank you. Select someone. Uh, let me see. Um, Irene. Okay, Irene. Hi, Irene. Hi. Okay, Irene, uh, do you feel identified with the brand that you represent? Okay, um, I'm going to talk about my, my job, my company. Mm -hmm. Okay, in, in this way, yes, I feel so identified with the company that I work in right now because um, this brand is a brand. I work for Fruit of the Loom company and this brand is an excellent uh, that is an excellent brand the the company always are thinking in, in the employees they have enough benefit for them and always always are thinking in, in the employees and how, how, how to be better for, for the people. And the brand is excellent brand, have enough, enough quality, for example. That's all. Come on, Jenny. <laughs> Jenny, behave. He is a volunteer. <laughs> okay. Um, one thing that I've noticed as well, algo que notado con ustedes es que algunos se les está olvidando el verbo to be cuando ocupan el presente continuo. The company, the company that I'm that I'm that I'm working right now, that I'm working for the positions, the company that I'm working for right now. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, the company always are. Okay, and again, present continues. The company is always thinking of the employees. This is good. The company is always thinking of the employees, is thinking about the employees, about its employees. The quién son los empleados? About its employees. Okay. The company is always thinking about its employees and their employees. The company is always thinking in their employees. Cuidado, eso nos puede pasar. A mí ya me ha pasado, aunque no lo crean. En lugar, porque a veces, no sé, ya me ha pasado. Es raro que me pase, pero ya me ha pasado. Decir en en lugar de in, be careful. O que suene a en en lugar de in. Ok, the brand is excellent brand. The brand is an excellent brand. The brand is an excellent brand. Ok, or just, it's an excellent brand. Ok, good job. Ok. Now, in my case, why is it important to create a strong brand for a product? Well, you need to make sure. And this is like a key factor. Do you remember the product development uh, stage that we saw on unit uh, last module? Intermediate two, we talked about product development, right? Remember? Idea generation, remember? Oh, what days, right? What a days. Okay. Branding um, is a key factor, but making sure that you have a strong brand. Number one, nowadays, it is difficult. You know the steps, right? You have to go to the CNR, 
make sure they, the brand is not taken. You pay $20 and they tell you, oh, I'm sorry, it's taken. And then you go, okay, what about this other brand? Oh, another $20, it's taken. <laughs> I don't know, it's not like that. But man, you have to research because at this point, everything is taken, right? It's difficult to find a, um, an amazing name, something that will stick to people's mind. As Elvin was saying, something that will stick to people's head, you know. What, what do you think if I tell you Flover? Okay. To your mind, if, you, if I tell you Flover? <laughs> no, come on, you didn't have a childhood. Tuvieron infancia. Flover. No, I don't know. Robin, Robin Williams. <laughs> that was his invention. Robin Williams, Flover. The Flover. Yeah, good movie. Anyways, <laughs> thought you were going to get it. Okay, so branding, that is why it is important. I mean, thinking about the brand of your product is like the, the basic thing that you have to do. If you get a good brand, even if your product is not as good as the competitors, you can make it. Can you give me an idea of a product that you heard the name, but it wasn't that good? It was like, you heard the name and you were like, oh my God, that sounds so attractive, right? That it wasn't that good. Okay, Salvadorians think a lot about la pupusa loca. Every pupuseria nowadays have a pupusa loca. Is the product good? Gallos beers. What, Johnny? <laughs> Gallos beers. Gallo. Mm. Gallo. <laughs> Is that a famous brand? I mean, does it call? It's Mexican, I guess. I think it's Mexican. Guatemala? Mexico or Guatemala? Guatemala. Miguel knows. Miguel knows. I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's see. Tecate? Tecate is Mexican. It's Mexican. Is that a, I mean, I'm thinking about names of brands right now. Tonya. Tonya. <laughs> You know what? You know what calls my attention, and I haven't, I haven't tried it because I, I don't drink, I don't drink beer. But something that called my attention, la hija de pu, cadejo, cadejo. That calls my attention. I think about Winnie Pooh, right? Winnie Pooh. But is that a sweet beer? Because I love, I love sweet things. So when I think about honey on a beer, mm, I don't know. Yes, it's that the real name. What a name. <laughs> yeah, La Hija de Pooh. I know, of course, it sounds like something else. But if you think that about it, Pooh, mm -hmm. uh-huh, Pooh, Winnie Pooh. Okay, it has honey on it. Um, what what are the others, Cadejo beers? Um, I don't remember the other ones. Specialists? Do we have any specialist on Cadejo beers here? No, no. Okay, good. So names of brands are like the first thing. Secondly, do I feel identified with the brand that I represent right now? In 2005, I worked for an airline, a call center. The name of the airline was US Airways. I felt so identified with that airline because they, in person, they came to give us the training in 2005. I worked there for from 2005 to 2009. Man, I felt, I felt an employee of the airline. I was an outsource, but I don't know. I fell in love with, with the airline. I had a jacket. I had some wings. You know, I, I won some wings for a pilot. I mean, I fell in love with, with this brand. Now with Inglés Corporativo, I feel identified with them. 
because uh, they they work so good you know they're so organized and i love discipline so i feel identified with brent with english corporativo it's a very nice it's a strong name it's a strong name for this course for this program Teacher, um, hmm? may i ask you why did you leave the airline oh they left honey they left. Oh, really? Yeah, they, they, many employees were stealing, they were stealing the points of frequent travelers. There was a program for frequent travelers. So many employees from the call center were stealing the points. Some of them traveled to Europe and came back. Others went to Aruba. <laughs> they came back and they were never caught. They never caught them. That was crazy, but they really affected us. It was just like 25 people out of out of 500 employees. And one day the airline said, you know what, these Salvadorians, ah, and they left. Mm -hmm. It's very sad because US, airline, US Airways was about to merge with Delta Airlines. And Delta flies to El Salvador and from El Salvador. So we were about to become direct employees of an airline, but that happened. It's really sad. Okay. So what makes you feel identified with a brand and with your company? What makes you feel engaged? Maybe social benefits. Yeah. That's uh, the, the values of the company, social totally. responsibility programs. Yeah, very good. That's true. All of that makes you feel salary. Like the salary. Do you know what? In my experience, it's not a, when you love something, you don't even do it for the money. I mean, you forget about your payment sometimes because you love what you do. When you love what you do, you don't even think about the payment, especially if you're a husband and your wife manages the money, you know, you just forget mm -hmm. about your payment. <laughs> it doesn't exist. <laughs> oh my God. No, true, true, Re really, really, you forget about it. And you only see it once a month, you know, that's the way it is. It's important when, when you get that feeling, when you get that feeling that, oh, Hey, today is the payday. What was payday yesterday? <laughs> That's a good sign. That's a good sign that you love what you do. Believe me, I'm telling you. Okay, let's move on. So next stage, we have to read. There's a conversation on the same page, page 25. I'll go ahead and just do it. I'm just going to read it for you. And then <clears throat> we're going to do it in small groups, okay? So... Let me go back to the old technique here. This is not going to fit here. Let me move it to the left. There am I. Okay. Give me one second. There we go. Okay. Good. So. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. And I said environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them no brand, no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Okay, one more time. Heidi. 
Help I me. would like to create, sorry? <laughs> Help me, you are Amy, okay? Okay, okay. Good, one, two, three. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is a problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. You can call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Thank you, excellent. I have a doubt here. I see a lot of people. You know what? This is wrong, guys. You can correct your book. I see, what is wrong with this sentence? I see a lot of people are buying. Is buying. Only um, buying. Just buying, right? I see a lot of people buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. I see a lot of people doing this action. Okay, good. Just remove the verb to be there. Okay, this is page 25. I'll send you the image as well. Please practice, repeat, repeat, repeat with your classmates, don't stop. Let's go. Let's go, Jenny. And do you have the book? It's shared. Teacher, can you okay. allow us to share? Oh, right away. Screen, please. Thank you, thank you. Thought I did. Okay, there you go. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I start. Okay. Yeah. I would like to create a brand for my environment-friendly diapers. Katie? Okay, what do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua, but that sounds just bad, and I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Okay, now you can switch. Okay. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. Uh, diapers, uh, what? Three. Okay. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. Hey, come on, Johnny. Johnny. And hey, okay, okay. And what do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the one sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with my any better idea. You should call them No Brown. No Brown has become a trend for some product in Japan, in Korea. Okay, I'm going to start, Miguel. I'm going to be Josué. Okay. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diaper. What do you have in, me, in mind? I see a lot of people buying from you rather than getting the one sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, 
there is a problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them. No brand? No brand has become a trend for some products in, Jap in Japan, in Korea. Okay. okay, now my turn, I'm going to be Ami. Okay, okay and Joshua. Um, I would like to create a brand for my environment friend diapers. What do you have in mind? I see that a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come out with any better idea. You call, call, you Cool. You could call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan or in Korea. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm Jose one more time. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? Yes. That is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's. But that sounds just bad. I can't come up with any better idea. You call, call them no brand, no brand. Has become a trend for someone products in Japan and Korea. Yeah. Okay. Next. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the one sold at the supermarket. supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them uh, no brand. No brand has become a trend for some <clears throat> products in Japan and Korea. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Elvin Fernando, Heidi, Suleima, Irwin, Ivan, Juan, Alexander. Elvin, Ivan, Juan Francisco, uh oh, Suleima, Suleima, Irwin, Ivan, Juan Francisco. Okay. Okay, so I need Suleima, Ivan, Irwin, and Juan Francisco. Again, Suleima, Irwin, Ivan, and Juan Francisco. So let's go first with Suleima and Irwin. No, 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 okay. I am, <laughs> yes. You're the last ones, okay. <clears throat> Whenever you're ready. Okay, okay. I am Amy, okay? Or your I think you are Joshua. Okay, I'm Joshua. I will begin. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? 
I see a lot of people buying from you rather than getting the one sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that's the problem. People are calling Jeff Joshua, but the son just bought, and I can't come up with the any better idea. You could call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Perfect. Okay, just one thing. Erwin, let's repeat with any better idea. I can't come up with any better idea. Repeat, I can't come up with any better idea. I can't come up with any better idea. Better. 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 Uh -uh. B E R E R. Better. I I can. Can. Let me try it again. Let me one second. Um, you can say, okay, better. Like that. Okay, better. There you go. Oops, sorry. It's Did okay. You? Don't oh, worry. Oh, Don't worry. Oh, all in my life, I said better. Like it's Eddie Vedder. Like Eddie Vedder? Yes, it's not the song. Yeah, I know. Okay, I, know. Sorry. I, I love that guy. Don't worry. Yes, with <laughs> any better idea. I can't come up with any better idea. Any better idea. Okay. Good job. Good job. Next couple will be. Who did I say? Juan Ivan. Francisco and Ivan. Okay. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in, in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the one store and the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Better, good job. Okay, repeat, rather than, rather than. Rather, rather than. Rather than, rather than. Okay, you can call them, call them, call them. You can call them. No brand. Okay, you can call them, call them. Okay, just two more students, volunteers. Two more volunteers, and we're done. Come on. Me, teacher. Andres. Me, Andres. Okay. Me, teacher. Who's at 32 de Jose? <laughs> Jose Antonio? Hello. No, I'm sorry. Who sent me? Andres and Jose Antonio? Yes. Okay, good. Ready? Go. Okay. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you what do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the one sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that 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 is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them. No brand, no brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Perfect. Okay, that's good enough. Thank you guys. Okay, so really quick, any new words that you're taking from this class today, tonight? Environment. Environment, okay. Terms, words that you heard. And that's a challenge that I have for you. Review the class, watch the video, listen to this guy speaking, you know, because don't, you're not going to let me lie. But sometimes when I'm talking, I see your faces and, I, and you go like, <laughs> 
and I know you're not <laughs> catching all of the words, it's okay, but don't stay with it. No se queden con eso, okay? Find out, do a research. What did he say? Oh, I'm gonna ask him, okay? Pregúntame, pregúntame, right? Okay, don't be shy. Any other word? I didn't know uh, about cattle. Oh, cattle. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cattle. Okay, cattle is um, a sacred thing in India. It's sacred in India. Okay, any other word? Intermediate three. My God, guys, you're almost, you're way be, you're over. Wait a minute, right now you're in the middle. No, next model, you will be in the middle of the, of the program. Uh-huh. Trend is como una tendencia. Trend. Trend. Uh -huh. Trend, yes, trend is exactly tendencia. That's right. What is trendy? What is, tr what is a trend? What is a trend? Um, yep. Something popular. Okay, exactly. What is a trend in El Salvador right now? <laughs> what is, oh my God, what is a brand, a trendy brand right now for Salvadorians? Bitcoin. The, the brand? Is Bitcoin a brand? The oh. Chivo. Chivo Wallet. Chivo Wallet, that's a trendy name. I, I, I'm sure, I'm sure that many banks, I'm sorry, Haiti, but many banks were like, oh my God, why didn't we think about Chivo for a card? <laughs> Your Chivo card. Oh my God. You know why? Because many banks are international, right? I, I don't know. Branding can be something negative too, because a word has a different meaning in, in Colombia and in Honduras, right? If you say Chivo here for someone else. Chivo must be a cabra somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could be negative. Okay, guys, think about this tonight. We will continue, I mean, tomorrow. Um, I'm supposed to stay with Sandra tonight, but she's not here. I need a volunteer, but I couldn't ask for a volunteer. So give me a minute really quick um I should have done this before okay uh, 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 uh miguel were we together on tuesday yeah 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 that's right sandra is not here where there is not here william alexander could you stay 10 minutes i stood with ada yesterday william okay. alexander is, are you there? Yes. Okay, could you stay 10 minutes instead of uh, staying next time? Okay. Okay, just 10 minutes, please. Thank you, guys. I'll do the attendance. Time's up. Good night. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present, Good night. Good night. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Okay, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Good night. Present. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present teacher. Yep. Good, night. Good night. Jose Alberto Salas Benitez. Juan Francisco Enriquez González. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero, Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel, William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Zuleima Ivonne Merino Moreno de Hernández, I'm sorry. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Good night. Alan Thank Christopher you. Abrego Brizuela, Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanez. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa, Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, William, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm good. Glad to hear. I... Thank, thanks for staying. No problem. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, you won't stay next Monday, which was your turn to stay. So how's everything going? Everything is good. Have you been studying? Uh, to be honest, uh, a little. A little bit. Okay. Little bit. Why? How's your job doing? Yes, because of my job. Uh, most of the time, I, I don't have enough time. And yeah, it is a little stressful. Uh, and I am almost always tired. You're all, almost always tired. Mm -hmm. You end up the day you're almost always tired. OK, what are you doing? What do you do at work? Uh, I am. I work uh, for them. It's an maintenance, industrial maintenance. So it's a little heavy. Are you a technician? No, I am in administration. Oh, um, do you have a lot of employees? Yeah. Oh, what's not the... much? Not. Not much, but uh, not many. Sorry. Uh -huh. Not many plurals. Uh -huh. Oh, see, sorry. <laughs> and, and but I do the payroll. I sometimes check the cash flow. I am the uh, administrative assistant. So, my God, that's a lot of positions in one. Yeah. <laughs> my wife has the same thing, you know, she's the accountant. Um, she, she, she does the payroll, she pays the employees. Uh, she's like the legal representative of the company because, I mean, she is not, but she does that as well. Um, if there's any legal problem, she has to take care of it, everything. I'm, even if a machine stops working, she has to do the quotes for repairing it and so on. Yeah. And for the same payment. It's the same for me. I do a lot of things and even if I don't, if I, I am not a, a technician or if I am not a mechanic, I have to fix or resolve a problem. Okay, that's crazy. Yeah. Huh. Okay, you know, studying English is so easy, so simple. Did you check the video that I, I mean, the website that I sent you? It looked like, it looked like a game for kids, right? Let's practice a little bit. Okay, uh, you select one of the contents. <laughs> Let's start easy, okay? Tell me, what is the animal? It's, it is like a, <clears throat> a small tiger that lives in your home. A uh, cat? Cat. <laughs> you got it. 
Okay, people often ride this animal. Uh, horse. Excellent. Horse. It can fly quickly and it's smaller than a bee. <laughs> it can uh, fly quickly and it's smaller than a bee. I don't remember the name. The name is in the sentence. Fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Okay. A cute animal with long ears. Uh, with no long ears. Uh, rabbit? Yes, you got it. Rabbit. 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 A dangerous animal that is orange and black. Tiger. A tiger. Tiger. That was easy. Yeah. A big fish that likes to eat other fish. Um, How many fish do you see on the image? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> A big fish that likes to eat other fish. There's no, no other fish. There's just one fish <laughs> on the picture. Shark. But I don't know the name. Uh, shark. Oh, shark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It has four legs, a tail, and two horns. It has four legs, a tail, and two a, horns. A cow. A cow? I think it's bull. a bull. The oh. male. The male. A uh -huh, bull. Okay. This is a small orange animal with four legs and a tail. Fox. Excellent. Yes. Fox. Fox. And last, a bird that lives in cold places. It cannot fly, but can swim. Penguin. Of course. Penguin. A penguin. There you go. It swims on, not in the water, and you can eat it. A duck. A duck. Duck. Very good. Oh my God, this continues. It is a small green animal with big eyes. Uh, small green. Oh. A frog? A frog? <laughs> yes. Frog. I heard you said frog. <laughs> okay. You see, that simple it is. There's a lot of topics actually on this page that you can use to practice, not just playing with vocabulary, but you can, at your level, you can move with, uh, let me see, fast phrases, for example, will be very helpful. Uh, past tense, okay, perfect tense, okay, and so on. Monster numbers could be helpful for you, especially on your area or prepositions. If you need to correct that, you can check that already, okay? Phrasal verbs, we're using a lot of phrasal verbs. So just recommending you something, you can use this on the, on the chat, on the WhatsApp. So you can take a look at it, okay? Okay, I'll do it. Thank you for saying you can go and lay on that beautiful bed that you have on your back, okay? <laughs> have a good time. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna sleep tonight, I'm gonna work from 11 to 4 a.m yeah i'm gonna do some overtime need some money okay man take care i'll see you tomorrow okay, okay. bye teacher